Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Spibs and today we have a design request from a subscriber. But before we get into the details of that, I wanted to let everybody know that I've recently opened my Discord to the public. The link will be in the description below and I'd love to see you guys in there. It's just an opportunity to talk with me and other people of the community. Anyway, today we have what I've nicknamed the TC Vault. This was a request from Pete Nolan on one of my videos and he wanted an automatic way for the door leading to his TC to close after a certain time. The solution I came up with is fairly simple, but I'll discuss a few key things uh, to keep in mind at the end of the video. So if you're concerned about security and stuff like that, then stick around for the end and we'll have a bit of a discussion about it. Otherwise, feel free to leave a comment and I'll address any issues that we have there. So here we've got the door to our TC. Now, with the current way the electricity is set up, there wasn't a straightforward way to necessarily have the door close after it's open without kind of compromising security. So this is my solution for Pete Nolan's request. I open the door and I access the TC. Now you can see the HPHF sensor there. It detects me, it activates a circuit that I'll show you in a minute. And then after a duration of time, even if I'm out of range of the HPHF sensor, the door closes automatically. Now you can change the time on that. I just have it to uh, a default of 10 seconds. So let's have a look at the circuit and how to build it. Alrighty guys, so this is the core of the actual circuit. Like I said, it is very simple. It doesn't require much power at all. It only requires about seven units of power. So all you need is a power source. I'm just using a solar panel in this demonstration, but it's whatever you have available to you. And then you need two electrical branches, a one AND switch, one timer, one door controller, and one HPHF sensor. Let's get into the build. All right guys, so I am going to speed up most of the build uh, like I usually do, but I just wanted to point something out first. Now I'm using a triangle room for the TC like many people do, but what that does, it, it makes for a very confined space when you're trying to place the electrical components. So what I've done is place the TC outside of that room first, which can be a little bit inconvenient. This won't pop up if you're using a square room for your TC, but it's just necessary so we can get a couple of things set up first. Now it's really only for placing the door controller and the HBHF sensor, but let's go ahead and do that now. So I place the door controller here. I just close the door and make sure I pair it. This is the easiest time to do so. And then I place a wall here, come around and place the HBHF sensor on the wall here. So once that's done, we can move on to the rest of the circuit. Uh, you can either place the TC at the end of the circuit if you want really neat wiring, or you can place it now like I'm going to. All right, let's move on. Alright, so a couple of last things with this circuit. So whenever you're using a HPHF sensor, you have to make sure you program it correctly. Now you can only do this once it's receiving power, but we want to make sure we exclude others. So we only want people who are authorized on the TC to have it activate. So once we do that, we also come around here. Now the electrical branches don't need to be configured from their default setting, which is just outputting two. We can just leave them as they are. And like I said, this uh, circuit only requires seven units of power. So if you're diverting power to this circuit, you need to know how much, then seven units of power is the minimum that it can run on. All right guys, so we are at the end of the video. Like I said, it really is a simple design, so the video isn't particularly long on this one. However, there's a few things that I just wanna to touch on, as I mentioned, so let's get into that. Um, obviously, I had to place a TC down outside the triangle while I was wiring the circuit, and this can pose as a security issue. So 
you really have to plan ahead. I wouldn't recommend using this for your starter base or, or anything like that, unless by chance you have all those components ready to go straight out of the bat. Uh, it can be a little bit inconvenient, so keep that in mind. Uh, I also recommend hiding the main part of the circuit. So whether that's in honeycomb or spread out throughout the base, it, it's, it's really up to you, but you gotta keep in mind that especially the timer, uh, you know, if, if someone has access to that, they don't need TC access to activate it, which gives them temporary access to that door. So keep that in mind as well. When you follow that last little bit of advice, um, the design is fairly secure in my mind. Um, now, some of you may comment on this video, which is fine. I'd love to hear your feedback, um, but I've received uh, some comments in the past about door controllers uh, not really being secure, but there are ways to hide them and uh, everything like that. But with this particular design, if you really think about it, if they're that deep in your base that they've either got your TC because you haven't locked it, which you should definitely be doing anyway, or they've destroyed your TC, there's a good chance that the base is lost anyway, so the fact that there's some circuit there controlling a door probably doesn't matter at that point. The last thing uh, I want to talk about as well with the design, you could take the timer out of the equation altogether. The reason that I included it is just because it was a specific request um, from Pete Nolan in the request that he made, but instead you could have the um, whole circuit going straight to the door controller. So that means when you open the door, like I demonstrated, and walk into uh, the area that the HP HF sensor can detect you, as soon as you uh, walk backwards or out of that area, the door closes the moment that you walk away. So that's an option as well. Now, if I have missed anything, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you have any requests as well, also hit me up. And don't forget the fact that I've launched my Discord as well. I'd love to be able to talk to you guys in that and eventually do uh, a couple of fun things there. Otherwise, guys, we will see you in the next video. I really appreciate all the support that the channel has received lately. It really does mean a lot, but uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.